At the moment, there's a distinct uh, gap in our available empirical knowledge in what will drive or inhibit consumer adoption of interactive propositions on the television screen. Um, we know that not all audiences will interact with TV-based content, um, but what we don't know is which audiences will interact with which propositions and which calls to action will be more successful than others. Now, that's a pretty simple equation to define. It's a rather more complex equation to actually solve. Here at the Center for Media Design at Ball State University, we are all about understanding consumers and how they interact with screens, devices, and content on various platforms. Through our involvement in the OED and academic outreach program, we have access to eBIF development tools. And thanks to contributions from companies like S&T and ADB, TVWorks, Softel, and Sequence and Zodiac, we recently turned our Insight and Research Media Lab into a fully functional testing environment for interactive TV applications, which means we can take an idea from the very conceptual beginnings on the whiteboard all the way through design, development, deployment, and consumer testing. And now, as the industry is pulled towards increasing interactivity, our Insight and Research Unit is launching a formal initiative to study the motivations, attitudes, and behaviors of consumers with regard to interactive TV applications. We call it Viewing Plus, because as the TV starts to look more like the web, and web starts to look more like TV, it is important to understand consumer interaction with TV content, whether it's on the TV screen, on a second screen, or on applications unbound from TV content. Our Viewing Plus initiative will address four key research areas. Interactivity with programming, interactivity with advertising, interactivity in search and findability, and interactivity related to t-commerce. We will be working with industry partners through this initiative in several ways. We are currently establishing an advisory board that will serve as a think tank lending intellectual capital, and we are gathering key industry players around the table for consortium-funded projects, thought leadership work, and proprietary research. There are many questions in industry right now about how consumers will react to increasing interactivity. We intend to provide answers based on sound, objective, consumer-centric research using a methodologically agnostic approach that integrates focus groups, observation, interviews, surveys, usability, and eye tracking based on the research questions we need to answer. We're very excited to be launching the initiative right now. Uh, the response we've had from industry so far has been extremely encouraging from companies wanting to be involved to companies wanting to discuss with us how our research agenda is going to be formed and having input to that, to helping us shape the questions we'll need to investigate, and others who are coming to the table wanting to share their own findings from their own research, which as far as we're concerned is excellent. Uh, we do not have the monopoly on good ideas, and that is why we have to have industry involvement to be sure that the work we do is going to be relevant and meaningful to the industry at large and so that it actually has an impact on how interactive television in the States grows. As far as we're concerned, we can't have too much input from industry on this initiative.